Hello and welcome everyone. This uh, screencast video is to explain to you about the upcoming semester one exam and how it will be assessed. I want to give you full details both in written format and with my voice and showing you the actual space that you're going to be working in and all of the details of the rubric so you would be fully prepared to do a great job on the exam. As you know, we have two components. The first component is during the scheduled time block of 90 minutes and then we'll be meeting at another time. The entire three groups will be meeting at another time so that we can all synchronize when we do the 30 minute multiple choice exam which will be 20 questions. Those 20 questions will span all of the topics that we did for this semester. Topic 4, ecology. Topic 5, classification, evolution. And the little bit of topic 1.1 that we did which is stem cells. Also remember, I haven't written it down here, but we did a little bit of topic 3 with somatic cell nuclear transfer and with the use of data to construct cladograms. Those were two sections of topic three that were relevant and we brought them in to our work this semester. So all of that will contribute to your 20 questions. Then for the all-important essay question, you are going to get a choice. That choice is going to include, again, one from each of the main areas that we did it is going to carry a total of 20 marks for that uh, essay and there are certain details that I want you to follow. First of all, I want to talk about the command terms. This is specific IB terminology to describe what word the question is going to start with and by using a certain word it, it's meant to give certain specific instructions and you should be familiar with these command terms. So let's have a look at that. So here on this screen now you can see some command terms uh, that apply to IB exams in general in all subjects. I plan to focus on this term, compare. We've used this before in our last assessment compare and here you can see what that means. Give an account of the similarities and differences between two or more items or situations referring to both which is in this case if it's two or all of them if it's more than two throughout your description. Look out for something with compare. Then I want you to look out for something with discuss. Offer a considered and balanced review that includes a range of arguments, factors, or hypotheses. Opinions or conclusions should be pre opinions or conclusions should be presented clearly and supported by appropriate evidence. So that's the second one I want to highlight. And the third one that I want to highlight is evaluate. To assess the implications and limitations to make judgments about the ideas, works, solutions, or methods in relation to selected criteria. So you can of course have a look at all of these here in this document. Uh, they apply to many uh, areas of the IB diploma. But I plan to focus on those three in particular and I wanted to Make sure that you are familiar with it ahead of the examination day. Now the scoring out of 20 for the essay question is not going to be a traditional point-by-point -point scoring where you mention X, you get a check. You mention Y, you get another check. You mention a certain number of valid points, uh, no matter how you mention them, and you can get good marks. This is one style that the IB uses in scoring students that is in place for group four, which includes chemistry, physics, biology. But in group three subjects, and also in one of the questions in the ESS exam, which is both a group three and a group four subject, the IB tends to use a lot of marking by mark band, 
which, to put it simply, is trying to look in a very holistic way at what you have done and to decide where you fit into the mark bands. Uh, in general, you have these subjective descriptors here which apply to the sciences and here you can see a long description of the criteria for receiving a 7, a 2 or a 1. Very useful when you get a rubric or a description like this to look at the very bottom one. Very little basically here. A student doesn't have to know much, rarely approaches investigations fragmentary subject knowledge it means you know a little bit here and there a little bit of knowledge and then of course also good to look at the top this place comprehensive subject knowledge and a thorough command of concepts and principles so with this subjective set of descriptors in mind we are going to follow this mark scheme for your 20 mark essay with 15 marks allocated in this way. Let me speak to you about the 11 to 15 band, for example. There are a number of bullet points in here. If I believe that you address all of these bullet points fully, then you will be given a score of 15. If I believe that the most important bullet points in here are covered, and with a couple of others you kind of fall in this descriptor or in this descriptor then I might decide that your score is 13 or 12 or 11 and of course if you have a mix of all of the bullet points in here then I would subjectively assign you a score of 7 or 8 now bear in mind this is very subjective and while I might give you an 11 another examiner might give you a 13 or 9 or something like that and there has to be an, an expected level of tolerance between one examiner and the next and the IB recognizes this in its own marking but for something that is going to be scored out of 20 tolerance should be plus or minus 2 or plus or minus 3 at the very most so whatever grade you get you have to be aware of the fact that I'm aiming for consistency so if you think it's a little bit hard then I'm aiming for all students to be scored by that same standard that I am going to set now this part here is out of 15 but there's going to be another five and you might wonder how those five are going to be determined and I've written this bit here at the top you must cite two sources because this is an open notes essay that you're getting. You're getting 90 minutes and I'm looking for you to write about five to six hundred words about some topic in biology this semester and you have a choice of three. When you write that of course you are going to be allowed and you're expected to cite sources like your book or the internet for some kind of information. You must in fact cite two sources because you won't be able to argue about stem cells or about climate change or about self-sustaining systems without quoting some particular source. You must identify two sources and cite them. Whether you're going to use MLA or APA or Chicago or whatever method of citation, that doesn't concern me right now, but be aware when you do your extended essay you are going to have to learn more about formal citations. Then that's going to cover one mark. If you include your two citations, one mark for that. The other four marks are going to be for the skill of paraphrasing. And I want to remind you that your document that you post on ManageBack must be a PDF or a docx and while you will be allowed to type in a specific space on the internet I would also require you to copy all of your typing in that onto a docx file or a PDF file and to put that in another space on ManageBack. The reason being of course is that I would like to put your essay into turnitin.com and based on the amount of match that I get then I would know whether you're writing in your own words 
or you're just copying and pasting directly from the internet without even understanding like what you're writing so if you only have 5% match for this 500 to 600 word essay that's a pretty good um, sign for you and you will be given four points out of four for that if you have between 5 and 15 percent direct match 3 if you have between 15 and 20 you will be given two marks and if you have over 25 percent then that's really not a good sign for something that's just 500 to 600 words you will be given a maximum score of 12 you could get less of course and if you have more than 50% match, I could choose to reject your work altogether, but this being the first time, I am going to still allow you to score a maximum of 9 if you have a pretty good answer apart from that, and you show some understanding. A maximum score of 9. So I do want you to make sure that you understand how this is going to work, and we are going to be having a practice activity ahead of the actual exam so that you will have a feel for how this works and we've already done this once we're going to do it a second time to make sure that everybody gets this part of things